Eco Training presents Birds of the Bush for twitchers and amateur birders. Each month we will teach you something about the birds of the bush that you want to see. Simply leave us your comment below and tell us which birds you would like to learn more about. Today's bird is the Varose Eagle Owl. Mm, mm, mm. Did you guys just mm. hear that? I think we've just heard a Varose Eagle Owl. I can also hear some grey go away birds alarm calling the distance so it's quite possible there's one down in the Karonga River just below. Uh, one of our, our viewers, uh, Tess Chiaoke, you commented that you'd really love to learn more about the Varose Eagle Owl. So hopefully we're going to find one and be able to teach you just a little bit more about it today. All right, folks, we've just come down to the Karongwe Riverbed and as you can see behind me, the, there are some magnificent sycamore figs. And this is the, exactly the kind of habitat we would expect to find our Varose Eagle Owl. Uh, they are really hard to spot though. They tend to sit very, very still in the shadows, in the thicket, hugging up against the branch. So often our best way of finding these guys is actually just to sit quietly and listen out for the hopes they will call and help us pinpoint their location. The Varose Eagle Owl or Giant Eagle Owl is the biggest owl in Southern Africa. It is a nocturnal bird and therefore is often seen and heard at night. If you are lucky to spot one during the day, you will usually find it perching in big trees, well hidden, waiting for the night to arrive and giving you an indignant look for disturbing their day rest. It has big eyes and large pupils with both eyes facing forward that allows it for a wider field of binocular vision. They are perfectly adapted to hunting at night and evolved to exploit the abundance of rodents as well as insects and reptiles that we find active during the dark hours. With their powerful feet and talons, they pounce on their prey directly from their perch. Due to an adaption of their primary wing feathers, the fringed leading edges, the airflow is broken up into smaller micro turbulences leading to a noise reduction of the air flowing over the wings. This enables most owls to fly silently and approach their prey undetected. Well folks, if you've enjoyed this little segment on the Varose Eagle Owl, please remember to give us a like and a thumbs up.